Hi guys, uh, we're really excited today to bring you a new brand to run and ride and kind of a new brand to the UK as well um, called Bold Cycles. Um, so uh, those that are avid trail riders um, will know Bold um, from the company that uh, produced or designed the integrated shock system that Scott acquired a few couple of years ago and are now using on their new Spark that's um, kind of got uh, massive rave reviews. Um, but Bold are the original designers um, based in Switzerland. Uh, Scott bought them a couple of years ago. Uh, and the really good thing is, is they've kind of let Bold just go ahead and, and continue to do what they do. Um, and uh, and now I've got to the point where they're importing some, some Bold bikes into the UK. Um, and we're lucky enough to be one of the, the handful of few dealers to be able to um, pick up these bikes. Um, and this is the first one uh, that's just dropped a couple of, a couple of days ago. This is the uh, Bold Lincoln, nearly got that wrong. Um, it's the 135 mil travel bike. Um, so it's a smaller of the two, they do a 135 and a 150 mil travel bike. Um, but we think you know, a 135, this would be absolutely awesome for Cannock Chase and around this area. It would do double up of, uh, as a, a cross country bike if you really needed, but also plenty enough tra uh, travel in the, uh, in the front and the rear to actually uh, hit some of the uh, the, the off-piece trails around Cannock Chase comfortably. Um, but that's not really what we want to show you and talk about really is how much travel it's got, more of about the whole design of it that makes it so super special. So I'm not going to lie, Bold is um, up there in terms of its kind of nicheness really. You know, it's uh, on that same level as, as the likes of Santa Cruz and Transition and things like that. The beauty of these is, is you can actually, when you're you're paying a bit more for these kind of bikes, which they are, they do cost a bit more, you can actually see the technology that's gone into the design of them. Um, so to start off with, we can see all this integrated kind of system. A lot of people are coming into the shop going, oh, that's, that's a really tidy e-bike. It's not an e-bike, it's a normal bike. And then you go, it's actually a, a normal full suspension bike. And what you've got is the shock position is just tucked in down here. And we'll show you this. So we'll just take this little cap off here. It makes it super clean, it says. There we go, take that off there. And if Neil can get down there with the camera, right down underneath here, cool little things, like a little magnetic multi-tool there, just stashed down there, which is pretty cool. You've also then got pump stash here as well, uh, which is really nice. But what it does do, it makes it really, really super, super clean. Uh, you know, just two little, two little pivot points down here, really, which is really nice. Again, reducing the amount of bearings. Uh, we all know there's, um, it ran can of chase, that, that sand and gravel just eats bearings. And we're seeing that this time of year now as people ridden through the winter. But yeah, super clean lines, really smooth lines. And then at the front end, you've got um, where they've used the Syncross integrated bar and stem system with the, uh, the cable routing down through the head tube and it just makes it you know super, super nice and clean. They do use Scott's twin lock system, um, but no lockout system on the front fork, unlike um, with the Scott uh, Spark and the Genius and the Ransom and the like. So you've only got that, um, that one cable, which loops in through the head tube and then down all the way to the dropper post and the, and the, the lockout for the rear shock. Um, so, Really, really nice, smooth, clean lines, really solid um, depth of, of that paint job on there. Uh, they've made a really good job and, and it's just wowing everybody through when they come in the store. Um, so going forward, we're going to get a few frames. This 135 version and also a 150 version frames. I don't know when the dates are at the moment. They're, they're like everything, they're all a bit up in the air and there will be one or two bikes. Um, touched on it earlier they're not cheap this is this is a niche bike you won't see more than i don't know perhaps 20 or 30 in the uk this year price tag 8k so not you know it is it is a dream bike build really um and it is something very very special uh and you know when you look at it that actually where the where you're paying for you're paying for the design and innovation uh, which is what bold's all about um, if you want to view on rides, you can see some of the reviews that they got last year. It was uh, up there in a lot of the magazines, even won a lot of the tests on uh, Trail Bike of the Year as well. Um, so it, it is something very, very special. Uh, and we hope to bring you a few more bits and pieces from Bold throughout the, uh, the rest of the season.
come and have a look. Thank you very much.